Hi, I'm Steph and I am currently kayaking because that's something I love to do. Um, and I usually share kind of my kayaking adventures, but today I wanted to do a little informational video about kayaking and I wanted to talk about the app I use to track my kayaks. So there's a lot of different ways that you can track a kayak. Um, like I have an Apple Watch and there's a kayaking activity that you can set and it will kind of keep track of your kayak paddle. But the one I have used for over a year and really like is called Paddle Logger. And so it's an app that has a yearly subscription fee. It's really not that much, especially for me because I kayak once a week, so it's totally worth it. But what there's a lot of nice features that I really like about it. The first feature I like is it stores all my paddles and I can see them just one right after the other, which I really like so I can kind of see everything that I've done. I can also organize them into folders so I can organize when I go back to the same place. Like right now I'm at McClay Gardens and I come here a lot so I can put all of those into one folder and I can see all my paddles that were at McClay Gardens. I can also add what um, boat I was in. So if I was in a different boat, I can kind of mark that so I can remember and I can write any kind of notes and any kind of title I want so I can really keep track of them and just kind of remember them. Also, what's really nice about Paddle Logger is that there is a Apple Watch app and an iPhone app. Um, and so what's nice is I can set the Paddle Logger to start keeping track of my paddle on my watch and it will take the metrics for my watch so like heart rate and that kind of information and uh, calculate it more detailed than it would on my phone. So I get more um, information from the paddle logger on my watch. One thing to know about paddle logger on the watch, I have the iPhone 6, I believe. And if I do any, we're near close to four hours of a paddle, um, the battery dies usually. So um, I actually just recently got uh, like an extra battery to bring with me to like charge it if I need. I don't know if that's gonna work, but something to keep in mind, um, I am in the market probably next year for the Apple Watch Ultra, which has a way longer battery life and that will would last me longer on my longer paddles. Another nice feature of Paddle Logger is when you start a paddle, you can actually tell it to contact certain people for um, emergency sake, basically. So whenever you're paddling, you wanna have a float plan, and that's basically where you um, kind of have a written description of where you're gonna be, who you're gonna be with, what boats you're gonna be in, um, and what time you plan to leave and come back. And that's just for safety, so if anything was to happen to you, um, your you know friends and family would be able to contact authorities and kind of get you help. So this is basically like a digital float plan, which is very cool. So I can put in whoever I want to get a text message when I start Start paddling and then they also get a text message when uh, if my battery starts to die um, and then they get a text message if I don't um, in my paddle like after four hours or there's just a lot of little things that it can text about and when it texts my uh, friends and family they get a link to where I am on the map so it's really cool they can really track me know where I am I haven't had any issues where I needed to be rescued or anything when I'm paddling, but I have had times when my watch battery died and my people contacted me. They texted me like, you okay? Uh, just to make sure. So I definitely know that the app works. So that's the app I use. Um, and if you've seen any of my videos, you might've seen kind of a cool graphic of like where I've paddled. And that is actually made with an app called Relive. And what it does is basically it takes the information from any of my activities. So Paddle Logger creates like a, an activity, exercise activity on my device. And then it takes that information and it makes it a 3D graphic or like video. And it's really, really cool. Um, and so that's what I do. Basically, I log in Paddle Logger and then I make the video in Relive. And that's another paid app, but again, totally worth it because I do a lot of paddling. And it's really cool to be able to kind of watch the actual path you took in a video form. And I like to put that in my videos too, just to kind of see how that goes. You can also record directly in Relive. Um, I don't do that because I like having Paddle Logger the way kind of it organizes everything but you probably could easily just use Relive to record your paddle and then make the video. Um, just, just not the workflow I really wanna, wanna use, but uh, both of those are really, really cool apps. Highly recommend them if you do paddling and if you, if you kayak and if you wanna kinda see your path, cause I, I think it's cool. So those are the two apps that I use when I paddle, one to log and one to kind of relive what uh, my paddle was like. Um, I'll put a link to all of those in the description and if there's other apps I start using in the future, I'll let you know those as well. Uh, but thanks for joining and I hope you have a great day.